How's it going, Sacramento, California? Today, your favorite real estate agent is gonna spotlight Hanoi Fa, and we're gonna tell you why you need to check it out. Hanoi Fa is one of our weekly go-to spots in Elk Grove, California because of their wide variety menu that has awesome vegan and vegetarian options such as vegan pho, spring rolls, and lots of fried noodle options. We love this place, especially because of the banh mi sandwiches. It used to be a hole in the wall, but business has been good for them, so they have expanded to become what is now a lively family spot with friendly staff, tasty food, nice portions, and fair prices. Along with their classic meat and seafood menu, they have lots of vegan options. Tony, the owner, is super friendly and really cares about his customer's preference when it comes to vegan and vegetarian options, which is great because not too many Vietnamese restaurants care as much as Tony does. It's a great place for family and friends to gather, and another plus about Hanoi Pho is that they serve delicious boba drinks with a huge menu to order from. And did I mention that they are located right outside of the Century 16 movie theaters? And they are the only restaurant in the parking lot, so it makes it a great place to grab a bite to eat after or before a movie. As always, watch until the end to see how you can enter a gift card giveaway for this restaurant. And remember, if you want to see the best of Sacramento, then please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for instant notifications so you don't miss out on any hot videos coming out. And we do tons of giveaways to your favorite spots in Sacramento, so stay tuned and subscribe. So it's like a little vinaigrette, we put chili peppers, garlic, uh, pickled carrots and daikon in it. And it's mainly the sauce for like a lot of the Vietnamese dishes here. So right here we have min, we have uh, a leaf called beef leaf, and then we use lettuce, and then I think that's it. So this dish right here, you can you can eat it as breakfast, you can eat it as lunch, to go on. but it's basically a salad wrap. So basically you're gonna eat it like a salad wrap, you're gonna get a big old piece of lettuce, put it on the bottom, put whatever mints you like on top, cut a piece of the bun cell off, lay it on top and roll it up. Like that piece of the... This is kinda hard, but it's kinda hard to get them all together. Here it goes. So, I think, this is, I think I'm doing this right. Then we just wrap it up like a taco. Damn. I see. Maybe. Dude, that is a bite. Mm -hmm. That's a bite. Are yeah. you sure you're vegetarian? Yeah. That was like a meat eater bite. Does your mom get messy when she eats this? Kind of. It's a, yeah, it's just like, there you go. Emily got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? I, did, I, I think I wrapped it the wrong way. Another rule of thumb is, if the food is messy, that's a good sign. Yeah. Messy stuff, great, great stuff. That's pretty good. And the eggshell is like, the, since the omelet is pretty crunchy. And they got the good flavors, they got the mint. That's in there, it's good. All this lettuce is crispy good. It's good. All right, cool, on to the next one. So we got the salt pepper wings now. And I really love how it's all decorated, like how they cut the cucumbers. I know, look at the details. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's super, it's super crunchy and soft in the inside. Really tasty. Yeah. And it doesn't feel super oily, which I thought it would because it's um, fried, but Awesome. Yeah. The way they were making it in the kitchen. Mm, so good. So good. I don't even know how to describe the flavor. It's bomb though. You know? 
It's not one of those things where they kind of like just put it together and throw it out there. You go back there, you can see the love that goes into this food. Crazy cool. Family restaurant, love it. You like the shrimp? Yeah. The shrimp's are super good. <laughs> And then you can see the color and the seasoning they put in it. The seasoning is very good, yeah. The Vietnamese is called mi up chow, no beef. So it's pan fried noodles with uh, mixed seafood and veggies. Water, soy sauce, and that's a little flour. Gives the sauce a little thickness. <laughs> All right, ladies. I like how you can pick if you want it super soft or super country. <laughs> the next dish we're gonna do is called um, uh, salt and pepper flounder with an exo sauce. They kind of deep meat the fish, you know. They'll deep fry the fish to a crisp, so later on you can actually eat this outer rim of the fish. And in the exo sauce there is uh, pork skin, scallop, black bean sauce, and dry shrimp. What he's gonna do is he's gonna take these three, put it together in the wok and stir fry it, and then he's gonna pour that on top of the fish. This dish here is really good with white rice. Now it's not that we don't want to devour every single plate, it's just that we got four more coming. You gotta be an equal opportunity eater. Yeah, send help. I've never had flounder before. I like how it's not like too breaded, then it'll taste like too like too much grease. Not enough meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that you can taste the meat is good. It's not super fishy, which I like. <laughs> The fish is not fishy. <laughs> it's good. Like it's not too um, seafoodish. <laughs> You're right. It doesn't taste like super fishy, but it tastes like fish and chips, right? It's kind of like their version of like the beer battered kind of shrimp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or fish. I mean. Yeah. This guy's complicated. One way is you want to put noodles in here, kind of like that. The other dish we have with the grilled shrimp, you see these meats, we're gonna throw them in the broth. Keep up the veggies and the mints, whatever you want, put it in there, and then you're gonna scoop this guy over and we're eating both. Okay? And the other way is eat it like a salad wrap. So I'm gonna try the salad wrap. Okay. I don't know about you, but I like the taco style. This is some, some all meat. <laughs> it tastes familiar. Like chicken nuggets? <laughs> like chicken nuggets, but del mondonga. Are you? Grazie. Awesome. <laughs> Even though there was a bite taken out of it, still <laughs> awesome. Awesome. We're all sharing here. Mmm. Mmm. The food's very tasty. It's cooked with so much flavor, but at the same time, you still feel that kind of healthy because the ingredients are so like fresh and quality. And it's a meat lover dish. You get the best of both worlds. Good. So this one's less crunchy, it's a little more chewy. But it works out because you got all sorts of meats in there. And it does. I, I really like this um, this egg roll texture. 
all the meat. Yeah. I personally don't need too much meat, so I'm just taking little bites of everything. I do. I love meat. It's pretty good though. <laughs> and it tastes smoky. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try to pho, but I'm gonna get the man himself, Tony, in here. Tony, come enjoy this dish with me. I know you try it all the time, but I'd love to have uh, a meal with you. This right here is our vegan vegetarian pho. Not mm. many pho restaurants offer a vegan vegetarian. That's true. I don't know if you know this about us, our, actually our broth is a whole veggie broth as well. And then we also put these uh, imitation meats in it too so yeah so if you guys are just trying to be healthy and not trying to lose that meat flavor right you know <laughs> i mean just because we you know we're vegetarian doesn't mean we don't like the texture you know yeah, we still like yeah. the texture and chewiness and uh, in our meals so this is a great option that you offer i mean look it looks like yeah, a piece of meat. try the broth first mm. my mouth is salivating <laughs> oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna add this yeah this the lime, lime. yeah, yeah. Basil. Basil. Thai basil. Thai basil, yeah. So that's tofu? This is tofu based, but it's like ham. Yeah, it does taste like ham. It tastes like ham. <laughs> Thumbs up. Recommended. You will not be disappointed with this. Mark, so this is probably what I almost get every week, but I get the vegetarian one. This one is called Ban Mi Tit Dan Nuang. I don't know if I said it right. <laughs> right here we have three different sauces that I love to use with this. The peanut sauce, we got fish sauce, and then my favorite is this chili sauce. So if you want, go ahead and take a bite from that first, and then afterwards, Bam, I ain't gotta tell him twice. Look at that. Tastes like a Vietnamese subway. <laughs> so good. Yeah, right? Wow, so good. I don't even describe it. It's like a salad, but like fulfilling sandwich. Yeah. I'm gonna try some of the sausage. I'm gonna try a little of this first. There you go. So, how much was it again? That one was six bucks right there. Six dollars for this? Yeah. And this is like what, a third of it? Yeah, that was a third of it. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice fresh sandwich. And it's only six dollars. Guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. But wait, if you haven't already subscribed, liked, and left a comment, that's gonna automatically enter you to win one of these six gift cards that we're gonna be handing out next week. You already know, baby, we always giving out free food on this channel. So that's why you guys should stick around, especially if you live in Sacramento, always looking for cool spots, or you're thinking about buying or selling. I'm your man, and that's why I made this channel to showcase, number one, awesome Sacramento, and to help people find and buy their next home. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, see you next time, and we appreciate you so much. We just hit a 1,000 subscribers when we made this video, so super pumped out about it. Thank you guys so much. We love you guys. See you on the next one.